Hey guys, welcome. I had a super fun day today in uh, San Jose. Um, got some stuff for the fish room. Gonna make a couple videos for you guys. Uh, one of the things that I bought is, oh my goodness, we went to Target. I got a bunch of school supplies for my kids, things like that. Um, well, not my children. I am um, becoming a high school, I'm getting a credential to teach high school. So that's what I mean by my kids. I mean all my lovely students. And um, yeah, got a bunch of stuff for them. Uh, anyway, what else I got? I got some baking soda. So I keep a ton of just pure baking soda uh, behind all of my tanks because my fish room is a part of our apartment and I want it to be, you know, nice and fresh. I want it to smell good in here. So um, here's an old one. They didn't have these cool flow through ones, which are the ones I prefer. So you can see like a bunch more of the baking soda is exposed through this thing. But uh, this Target didn't have it. So the cool thing about these guys, so um, I'm a little late changing it. Um, the cool thing about this is that whenever they are done being used for um, air freshening purposes, then I can use them in my brine shrimp uh, hatchery. So I have a video on that, how I hatch my brine shrimp. But I just put a tablespoon of baking soda into the hatch water um, to harden up the water. Or rather, sorry, not harden it, to raise the pH of the water and um, make it get a better hatch rate from um, my brine shrimp eggs. So can't resist. He's watching me again. I just gave him some snails too. So, hello. He's, uh, checking out his snails. Seeing if there's any more in there. Anyway, so, super simple. I date. I open. Um, I also put some in our fridge to keep our food nice and fresh. But I just... Jeez. This is... I really like the flow through ones a lot better. But anyway. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Finally. So I open these up. And I just put... Oh man. Oh, see, I should have put towels down. Well, I need to clean the apartment anyway. So I just... Oh, Jesus. I just open it up. Wow. Okay, give me a second. Okay, I have again established myself as the clumsiest fish keeper ever. So, here they are, all nice and opened up. Ah. Okay. So, I'm going to put one in here with the white worms. Just in the very back. Ooh. Just going to put one in there with the white worms, just like in the fridge. I'm going to put one here with my other worm cultures. Well, actually, I'll put one in here beside the paramecium. That's where the paramecium cultures are going to go after I refresh them. I'll put one next to my brindles. Okay. Uh, maybe it won't. Hmm. Okay, I'll decide in a second. I'm going to put one in the back. Uh, put one in the back corner. Don't really, okay, let's see if it'll, okay, hold on, all right, all right, okay, one in the back corner, one under my bed of shelves, also in the back, just hiding in there, soaking up all the smells. And I'll put one back here. See, I drew that, or painted it rather. Isn't that nice? Okay. I'm gonna hide it back here. Sneaky, sneaky. So, alright, that's how I keep my fish room smelling nice and fresh. And then I can use the leftover baking soda after it's expired in my brine shrimp hatchery. So check out that video on how I do my super simple uh, 
brain shrimp hatching.